three must have ingredients of growing a $1 million lawn care business. Number one, you've got to be able to sell. You got to sell more jobs to your customers and upsell them on more services. Number two, you've got to be good at branding, your logo, your trucks, your uniforms. And number three, you've got to be good at leading people. And that's going to come in the form of getting more team members, hiring and training more employees. Here are the three must have ingredients of growing a $1 million lawn care business. Number one, you've got to be able to sell. You got to sell more jobs to your customers and upsell them on more services. Number two, you've got to be good at branding, your logo, your trucks, your uniforms. And number three, you've got to be good at leading people. And that's going to come in the form of getting more team members, hiring and training more employees. I'm going to show you the most efficient mowing setup that you could possibly have. Check it out. We got fuel cams, we got trimmer racks, already lowered slightly for small people like me. Check it out in the back. Instead of having a trailer, having to pull that thing around, hick it up every single morning, grab this bad boy, put this ramp down, voila, into the back of the bed of the truck. We can put our, our mower, our push mower right in here, lock the wheel in place. It's already in the back of the trailer. This extends it a couple feet, gives us more space for debris, etc. We got a blower, we got our sprayers, we got all of our hand tools, everything in here that you need. And guess what? No trailers, very efficient. Long care and landscaping guys, heads up. Make sure you label your equipment, mowers, weed whackers, any sort of equipment you have at your shop. For example, this is the 30X, an X Mark 30, number five. Now let me show you this. We actually make sure that every mower is assigned to a specific truck up here on the front entrance of the box. We got number five right here is going with P6. That stands for pickup six. On the equipment, hand tools, etc., use a label maker like this and make sure that the printer cartridge you get has laminated paper so the water doesn't wash it all away. We label our trucks and we even label our trailers. Are you tired of your employees not caring about your business, not caring about making more money, being lazy, etc.? One of the things you can do to improve that is have what we call open book management, where you actually show the numbers for your business. Profit and loss to make, month to date. We share this all the time. It's very public information. We try to share this with our team so they can actually care, know the numbers, and they get a piece of the profits at the end of each quarter. If you're tired of taking broken equipment out on your mowing routes or on your landscaping jobs, I really recommend you use this tagging system that when something is broken, your crew puts it in a box like this or a certain designated area, they write down certain things about this so you know this does not go out on property. If it's red tagged, it doesn't go anywhere. Let me show you this. So these are some of our broken mowers. But back here, we got a, a repair tag that's been filled out. We got the contact Charlie. The problem was the blades don't turn on, it just stopped working. The, nut, the item, this is X mark number two, and the date. This is what allows you to keep from taking out broken equipment on your job sites and wasting time. Everyone's worried about whether they should get a Ford or a GM or a Chevy or a Dodge or some other type of truck, but let me tell you something. This bad boy right here is the one that makes the real money when it comes to doing estimates and running around town all day long. This is fuel efficient, very economical, and guess what? Kind of looks cool. What's up, Stripe Nation? Hello, everyone, and welcome to this beautiful Monday hey, morning. morning. Hi, this is Brad. I, I mean, Mike with Augusta Lawn Care, a little lawn care company in Northwest Washington. It's a hedge trimmer. It's a chainsaw. It's an edger. Uh, it's a trimmer. Dude, that would actually kill someone. Mercy. This trimmer line, game changer. Game changer. Shovel, game changer. Game changer. Game changer. Game changer. Gucci, game changer. Just here in my garage with my Lamborghini. But you wanna love more? Knowledge. I bought this truck brand new, $110,000. 100% write off, 100% debt for all you haters out there. Mikey Mike, out doing my Saturday quotes. Oh, coffish, coffish, coffish. I was reading this book about Confucius doing thinking, thinking thoughts. That don't look too bad. <laughs> 